everybody. The sun's just started to shine again, so woohoo! It must mean it's time for the Community Connectors Awards Ceremony. We've seen real civic pride in the city, and all of you have contributed in so many different ways to that. Community Connectors, ambassadors, leaders within the community across Coventry, delivering some absolutely wonderful projects. It's just been absolutely incredible. You made it all happen. My name's Dan DeFair. I am the group scout leader for the 24th Woodhead Scouts and I maintain plots on the Henley Mill allotments and develop it for community groups to use. We have a rich heritage of allotments and gardening and unless we start teaching young people, that will die. Our project is very much a legacy project that we want to continue rolling out, getting bigger and bigger, maybe using it as a model for other allotments associations and other community groups to take on and deliver in their area. We understand that CV2 isn't the only area that needs support. You know, the whole world needs support. But if we can start smaller and then roll it out across the city, hopefully it becomes a legacy for the city. So you're yeah, right. you can have a hug. <laughs> <laughs>
for me as someone that grew up in Coventry, I remember the day when we got the, the accolade, uh, the title, and I was sat in my car and I kind of uh, pumped my fists, and it was just, just great to be involved. <laughs> My name is Fareed Siddiqui, uh, um, born and bred in Coventry. I decided that my project was going to be focused on uh, refugee and migrant ladies that had recently arrived into the UK and recently arrived into Coventry. I just thought, well, how can I welcome people into this city that I love? I love Coventry. I chose to teach um, something like a musical instrument. The ladies themselves had never actually seen a steel pan or even heard what a steel pan is or looks like. These particular ladies came from uh, mainly Iran and Syria and obviously the, the cultural uh, aspect of it was would these ladies be quote unquote allowed to do something and, it, and I wanted to kind of break down those challenges, break down those barriers of people thinking um, what's allowed and not, not allowed in the Islamic faith. It's been amazing. We had the City of Culture Parade, so a huge event in Coventry and the ladies performed outside the Belgrade Theatre for the Fusion Festival and they were absolutely amazing. I couldn't have been more proud of them. It just shows the power of music and what can be done with music. One of the ladies asked me, are we carrying on after the event? And I sort of said, I really hope so because it just showed me that we are such a welcoming city. I just want more of this. I want more and more and more and uh, I don't want it to stop. <laughs> Um, my name is Olibeme and I'm the Community Engagement Officer for Inini Initiative. So the project is going to be young black people making postcards. The whole point of it was first of all art for art's sake because I feel like whenever, um, whenever sort of um, minority ethnic groups are approached in terms of the arts, it's like we can't do something for Black History Month or the Bali and it's like well artists all around the year and I feel like there should be opportunities that aren't linked to cultural stuff, which um, I thought like that's quite important. Um, initially, the project was sort of working with young people, but as the project evolved, it became more sort of different groups and different, lots of different groups. So some of the groups I worked with were refugees and asylum seekers. Some of the groups were like elder adults, like in the sort of 70 to like 80 range. Quite a lot of like postcards were made, which was quite um, exciting because I didn't really think there'd be so many. I'm Anna. I'm Richard. And we, we are, are the, the relatives. relatives. Our stated mission is to increase, increase the, the overall, overall geology of the, of the nation. nation. The Connector programme appeared at a time, the absolute perfect time for us, and we were just trying to imagine what we wanted to do with our new youth photo music venue and community hall. Myself and my partner Richard devised this scheme, hey, we could put on some music events in the Canal Basin. Even though it's right in the heart of Coventry, it feels, it's all kind of pedestrianised and it feels a bit like being in a village. You can be watching the gig here and see there are some swans with their singing nets and their geese with their goslings. We thought it would take longer to get known in Coventry and longer to delve into the, the um, networks of artists and musicians. But actually, we found Coventry an amazingly welcoming place. I've never had a medal before, so I'm very excited. <laughs> it's really kind of better than expected. Very quickly, we seem to have become a part of Coventry and kind of its artistic network. The connection. <laughs> So I'm native Bulgarian, I'm a language teacher, Bulgarian, um, and uh, when I came here in Coventry I was really excited uh, because I uh, thought that it will be my uh, town, my city, where my uh, dreams will come true. And this is really happened in 2021 and I'm so happy to be with all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can I give you a hand? Yes, of course. Thank you so much. My actual name is, is Mark Gibbons, but everybody knows me as Gibbo. I'm running a, a project for, for men with uh, mild mental health issues, uh, which revolves around a, a set of cooking uh, programs. The, the aim of getting the guys to cook 
is uh, so that they you know give them some of that uh, that that extra little level of understanding of, of a certain culture. It really is empowering. We did this uh, uh, Polish dish where you have sauerkraut in and, and, and lots of other stuff called bigos. If you, if you if you get the word bigos and mess it around a bit, yeah, it spells gibbo. Give for Prime Minister. You know, when, 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 when people are coming here, you know, like uh, as immigrants, like people are, you know, they put you in boxes. You know, we need to take people out of boxes. We all need to be in the big box. Mm -hmm.